Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about how I study in dental school. This has been really requested since my summer term and I do show myself studying in all of the vlogs. If you're new here, my name's Haley. I'm a first year dental student at the University of Michigan School of Dentistry. I have just started my last semester of D1 year, so I've already finished two terms. We're going into a term with 26 credits. It's about to be crazy. We have a mix of didactic book work with lectures and videos and science course loads, but we also have classes where we're working hands-on in the simulation lab, learning clinical skills, practicing on our peers, our classmates, doing dental cleanings, taking x-rays. It's really a well-rounded, full-packed semester, but now that I've finished two semesters, I do feel like I have a handle on how I like to study for dental school, so I feel like I can put this video together for you all. I do just want to say this always changes, and I'm always trying to improve my studying, study in different ways based on the course content, based on what's working for me or the exam styles, but I did want to pull together the different ways that I study for my various classes and have that all in one video to share with you guys. So like I said, class by class it does vary slightly, but generally speaking, speaking, if it's a science class, I study a certain way. If it's a different class, like behavioral science or clinical foundations, I will study just with a Quizlet usually or a study guide, just reading over it. I don't typically do any writing or repetition or memorizing because I can get by just with association or frequency of reviewing topics. So if I'm sitting down, starting the study process, we will say is from taking in the lecture content. Again, as a first year dental student, I've only ever been a virtual remote student. We go in person for hands-on activity, but all of our lectures are virtual. So all of my lectures are in video format. So what I usually do is I sit down at my laptop and I have my laptop and my iPad out and I watch the lecture video on one and a half or two times speed with subtitles if they are available. Or if I'm really on a time crunch and I was behind or I didn't have time to study for a quiz, I will just look over slides and read through those a few times. But if I'm going to watch the lectures, that's usually what I do. And if it is time for me to look at slides, either after I've watched the lecture video during a study session, or if it's my first time reading over the slides, I did learn this semester that I love reading slides out loud. I find that I study so much better that way and I would retain the information so much better if I do read the slides aloud. So that is something I have started to do that way if I already watched the lecture and now I want to look over the slides a few days later right before the quiz I'll read through them verbally and I feel like hearing myself say it forces me to understand it better and also helps me remember better and I think one of the biggest things with online learning is staying engaged so I do find again that reading slides aloud and then the next thing I'm going to mention both keep me much more engaged and focused and keep me from drifting off and the next thing that I do is I like to type my notes this is very different than undergrad and I have found that it is a lot faster to type my notes. That's the main reason I type them. So I will do split screen. I'll have the lecture on one half and I will have my notes on the other half. So I'm either typing them into a Google Doc or I'm typing them directly into Quizlet. And that just depends on the class format and the way that I prefer to look over the material later. So for my cell biology class, I would make a study guide in Google Docs, but for my immunology class, I would go right into Quizlet and make flashcards based on questions that I thought of or true and false questions or definitions. And the reason that I like Google Docs as opposed to typing into Word is because Google Docs has a really strong predictive text feature that knows a lot of science terminology and it saves me a lot of time just being able to tab or space to, to, to fill in the predictive text. So again, it's so, so much faster than typing in Word and incredibly faster than handwriting notes either on your iPad or on paper. I know that I'm going to have to go over this material multiple times after watching the lecture and creating these notes. So for me, it's just way faster to have them in a typed version and then I can take the time that maybe would have been doubled if I was writing it to actually study. And I do end up writing stuff later, but we'll get to that in a few minutes in this video. So if I'm doing Quizlet, once I've prepared that study guide, I go ahead and go to the print button and then instead of printing it, I save that as a PDF. I do put it into normal feature, not alphabetized because I've been inputting it in order of lecture. And then I put that PDF onto my iPad so I can take notes on it or I can just read it off of there. And sometimes I will print it if I want a hard copy to review. And for Quizlet, I do use Quizlet Plus. 
I bought it when it was on a pretty solid discount, but I don't think I could ever go back to normal Quizlet. I love not having ads. I do like the enhanced analytics, and I really do like the different learn features and things. Again, I don't usually have time to go through the learn features as much as I would like, and for that same reason, if you're guessing why I don't use Anki, because I do not make the time for Anki, and that just hasn't been something that has fit into my flow of getting work done in dental school personally, but I do know people that have a lot of success with Anki as well. So do I ever write things out? Yes, I do. So I use writing more as a tool for repetition and memorizing specific things rather than when I said writing notes on a lecture or something, I pretty much write down almost everything the professor's saying. Again, not everything, but almost everything, and that's why typing is so much faster. And because that's a mistake I made in the summer, I was writing out everything handwritten on my iPad, and again, trying to write so much, it's just honestly a waste of time. So when I go back over my study guide or back over my Quizlet, if I run across, let's say, a list of seven things, I will go and I'll either pull up my iPad on a blank piece of paper or I'll pull out my whiteboard and I will write those out multiple, multiple times as a way to get repetition and to try to memorize and understand. There isn't really a rhyme or reason of when I use my iPad for writing things out versus my whiteboard. iPad's smaller, but it has a more like nice, neat writing versus the whiteboard's a little bigger, more messy, more chunky. They're just different sensory experiences and I just kind of switch them up based on what I'm feeling. If I'm getting bored with one thing, I do just like having both options. I did get some questions about how I do specific classes, so I did want to mention that really quickly just because I have some reference things I wanted to tell you all. So for anatomy, I bought this skull right here off of Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys. And that was a really great hands-on study tool, especially if you're going to be in-person tested on cadavers. Really great tool. And then I also used pipe cleaners to put through the different foramen. That way you can help yourself visualize where it is from different views. And then on my iPad, this is kind of hard to show, so I'll do my best to find an image off of Google that's not going to be violating any donor rights, but basically I would cover up the labeling and then I would use my iPad Apple Pencil to erase it and then undo it to revert it back to its normal covered up stage and that's how I would test myself on the different um, labels of different anatomical features or different actions and then I did also use Anki a bit for anatomy because I liked that you could use, again, the feature where you cover up part of a label. That way you can test yourself on it. So that's how I did anatomy. And then dental anatomy, I really like the app Bonebox Pro that you can get on your iPad that's free. I thought it was a really strong app and there is a quiz feature on there which is really nice for dental anatomy. I also had the typodonts here that our dental school sent to us to use. That was another nice visual aid for studying for dental anatomy. And once we were able to be in person, it was much easier to learn dental anatomy once we could look at physical teeth and once we were in sim lab doing restorations and preps and that forces you to learn the anatomy a lot better. So that's pretty much how I study. It's very broad, but I did try to put in clips showing it for you all. And like I said, I do show myself studying in all of my dental school vlogs, which I do post every single week, sometimes even twice a week, if not more. So make sure you all subscribe.